своїми питаннями Вже досить доросла тобі довела Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world both established artists and non-established artists and I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever so why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view now my next reaction um, I believe the artist is called Yu Yu, and this particular track is called Dovrini Slit. Um, I'm going to read a couple of things in the description page, as you know. Um, I'm just reading it as as um, as I'm going along. So as I'm reading it, you know that um, it's the first time that I'm reading it. I'm not reading it before, then I'm reading it again, so to speak. So it says um, Dovrini Slit um, is a song that changed my vector. And my musical vision of UU Project. A year ago, I was very depressed and my brain refused to do anything at all. Andre um, Yandy and my team helped me a lot. This song was originally written in Russian. And I plan to release it on February the 25th. Together with the music video. But after the full-scale invasion of Russia on the territory of Ukraine, I decided not to sing in the language of my occupier anymore and found girls who had helped me adapt and translate all the Ukrainian all the songs into Ukrainian. Huge thanks to Rita Davodka, um Lita Hefsa and Nata uh is that Jim Shenko? I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. I'm more, I'm about to say ninety five percent confidence that I pronounce the names wrong. I have a Ukrainian language album and the song um Devonny Splits opens it. Now when I'm reading this and listening to your comments, um, is she? I have to say, like, is, is she Ukrainian then? Because surely um, people who are Ukrainians will know the Ukrainian language. I doubt. I very much doubt there is one Ukrainian person in Ukraine um, that doesn't know how to speak Ukrainian. So. But when she says also um, talking about the, uh, the the occupiers of the occupiers, um, I I decided not to sing in the language of the occupier no more um, anymore. Um, and I know that you already spoke to me and said about the amount of people that actually do speak Russian, uh, and you gave me the whole flavour of that. So this is, uh, I believe, is going to open a number of debates as well, and as well as educate me as well, because um, even though. It's like I, I react to songs and after the song is being reacted and, up, and I upload it, that's when I get um, educated. You know, uh, it's a reaction. So I don't do my due diligence before the, um, I do my reactions of this art, of an artist, of a particular person, or is it wouldn't be a reaction, so to speak. So just listening, reading the description page, um, it opens doors for conversation. Um, does this particular artist... I mean, I'm looking at Fermos, um, the artist, and what she's bringing to the table and, that, and how she's contributing and everything else and how she sounds. Um, but looking, reading into her description, okay, I need a lot of help on this regarding um, her, na her nature, so to speak. Um, does she consider herself to be Ukraine? Um, or is she ashamed to be... Uh, or is she not even Ukraine at all? I mean, she could be Polish. And she only knows. I don't know. I'm. I'm only guessing. I'm. I'm gonna shut my mouth, and let you guys um help me out with this one. But I'm going to react to her anyway, um, because I have listened to about three seconds of the song and the music and everything else. It just, it it, it was quite different. It was kind of like an Elena Pashi kind of thing. So. I'm going to shut my mouth right now. Apologies. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button to indicate to you where my next uploads will be. Now, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. As well as your support. Can you dig it? That killed me. I'm so ill. I need the lyrical contents of this as well in English. Mm -hmm. 
Let me know about the pronunciations. Let me go straight into the visuals. Um, some parts grabbed me and some parts didn't grab me. i tell you what it was. It kind of felt that this was more personal. Do you know what I mean by that? Not personal to me, but personal to her. When I watch Ukrainian um, music uh, or music videos or even just hearing a Ukrainian artist, what I feel is them letting go. What I'm feeling is them giving yourself something. They're giving me something. With, as soon as they open their, their notes, when I see the visuals of the music, they're giving me something. I'm not looking at them when they're giving me the... the do you understand what I'm saying? When they're giving me something, it's almost presented to you. So, like, like, there you go. This is what I've done for you, for us to listen to. And with this track, it was more of like, this is what I've done for you to listen to me, rather than for you to listen to. Do you know, this is more of, yes, this is what I've done, but I'm still holding on to it. So, this was what I said. This was more of a personal nature for... Uh, it felt like this was a personal nature of herself that wasn't actually letting go for me to receive it. I was watching it, but, but I couldn't take it. 
Does that make sense? There's a lot of Ukrainian songs that I watch and I can easily take it or it's really always been given to me. It's been bang, there you go, that kind of feeling. And, I, and you know, you accept it. It's a demand that you do accept it. You know, there's songs that's like, wow. And I don't think that I've actually witnessed a song. I mean, I, I can identify songs which are very personal that doesn't want to, when the artist doesn't want to give away that kind of mater material. It's so more of a, us looking at from the outside looking in. Um, it's a lovely music, but it's not it's not our music. You know, you can feel those kind of things. I've been around to know what those kind of music types of music are, or the expression of an artist. And I'm not saying that there wasn't any empathy in there, but I just really feel that this was that this song belonged to the artist rather than to uh, rather it being shared out. That's what I felt. I can be, you know, you can have a different opinion on this. Uh, and that's what makes the world so beautiful, is people having a different opinion on songs. And as long as we respect and appreciate it, one another, um, in discussions of songs and music, then we can understand each other even more better than we already do. This song, like I said, it had, it did, it, it I need to not understand the lyrical contents first. I really, really, really do. Um, but also because I read the description um, page, I wasn't. I felt compelled to be somewhat distant towards this song. Um, but so I had to fight that and say no. You know, everybody deserves a a point zero um, as a point of reference until until you hear it. So you know, it's not going to be marked as a, as a minus. And even though this gave me the kind of um, uh, in something that I will see Elena Pash doing, so to speak. Um, there was a difference. Elena Pash gives me the empathy that I need. You can look straight into her face and you can see the sorrow. You can see the pain. You can see the sadness. You can see the happiness and anything else that she brings with her playable. But with Yu Yu, it was like, after reading her description, that kind of confusement of, okay, do you know um, what you are, who you are? Yes, I can understand what you are witnessing and seeing. And, you know commendable that you are doing something about it but when i was looking in your music video it's same it seems somewhat personal to yourself rather than an expression of something to share with everybody else it was me looking at you showing your person and showing how personal this is to yourself but what i didn't see is how personal it is to everybody else please share your thoughts and maybe it's something to do with the music, the way how you're pre presenting yourself in there, you know, that KG, you know, it was like, I did get it. But maybe I do need the lyrical contents just to, <coughs> apologies, to change my views in somewhat. And then I can look at it again in a different kind of light. Did I like the music? Yes, I love everything that was presented. The melody, the construction, the visuals. But I was looking at it, is it a personal terms? Is this something that is to share or is it something to view in? That's my only little critique about it. Maybe it could be a big thing that's stepping in the way. Let me know about your thoughts on this one. Um, but overall, a good track. I am waiting for your comments. I'm waiting for the lyrical contents. Yeah, interacting with you guys will be very interesting on this one, on this particular one. But for now, I salute you. Boom. Yeah.